are continuing to receive tones from Perseverance, coming standing by for cruise stage separation. indication that cruise stage separation has been confirmed by the spacecraft. We're off on a good start. In about one minute, Perseverance's landing software will wake up and begin the final preparations for entry. The first action it will do is to fire warm-up pulses with the entry thrusters. These pulses ensure that the spacecraft gets the thrust that it wants during entry interface. We're about nine minutes from entry interface. Okay, so now the vehicle's on its own. It's, kind of, it's turning itself in the direction of facing the heat shield toward Mars. And, uh, and we'll eventually uh, uh, hang the top of the atmosphere. We're not far away. This is going to go very quickly from here on out. That's confirmation that uh, we got shot up by the crew stage uh, as it uh, passed through our beam to the Earth. Um, indicated actually that we could see a signal that the cruise stage went between the Perseverance entry capsule and Earth. So we saw a little blip uh, in the data stream indicating cruise stage separation. We have confirmation that the vehicle has started warming up those entry thrusters. More pulses have begun. At this point, the spacecraft is trying to stop its spin from the cruise two revolutions per minute down to zero, and then we'll turn to its desired orientation from entry. It will se separate the two balance maps that have kept it balanced during all of cruise. This will allow the entry capsule to have lift when it enters the atmosphere. We have confirmation that the spacecraft has turned to the desired entry attitude. We are about seven and a half minutes from entry interface. Okay, the vehicle is pointed in the right direction. Thrusters are warmed up and doing their job. And now we've, we've spun down from two revolutions per minute that the vehicle had the whole way to, uh, way to Mars. It's a spin-stabilized spacecraft. And then from here on out, it's going to just be a bullet. And it's going to control its orienta orientation and attitude via rockets on the back of the uh, ship. Points carrier lock. Uh, sorry, come around. The DTE from uh, Radio Science from uh, Green Bank reports carrier lock. You see the carrier on the downlink. Flight number one. We are continuing to wait for entry interface. We're about six minutes and 45 seconds from entry interface. We have confirmation from uh, Greenback that they are receiving direct to Earth telemetry via that path. The spacecraft Perseverance is currently transmitting heartbeat tones. These tones indicate that Perseverance is operating normally and has nothing significant to report. This is as expected. We're currently just over six minutes from entry interface. Okay, now we wait. As soon as we get to the top of the atmosphere, the atmosphere will be very quickly, which is the entry point. It won't be very long before the, the, the atmosphere will start getting thicker and thicker. It's going very quickly at a, at a fairly steep angle of 15 degrees uh, into the atmosphere, and as it starts to slow We're down. Just under, uh, we about five and a half minutes from entry interface. We're still receiving heartbeat tones. Uh, we expect to continue receiving heartbeat tones until about five minutes after entry. At that time, Perseverance will be no longer in view of our antennas here on Earth. About 90 seconds prior to entry, the Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter should begin receiving telemetry from Perseverance and streaming it to Earth in near real time. 
Uh, there are a few expected short outages, such as when we have a plasma backup or when we enter the peak heating phase. Aside from these outages caused by the plasma blackout, antenna switching, or high dynamic events, spacecraft events, we should have telemetry until about 90 seconds after landing. Uh, a plasma blackout is when the signal from perseverance isn't strong enough to make it through the superheated, super fast air flowing around the spacecraft all the way down to Earth. Once the temperature drops below that peak heating, we do reacquire the signal from perseverance. We are currently about four and a half minutes from entry into base. Perseverance continues to report heartbeat tones, indicating everything is nominal. Okay. What we wait, what we're looking for now is we're, uh, Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter should be in view soon of our vehicle and be able to listen to ones and zeros coming from a separate radio that's really designed to talk between spacecraft. In Camera the, reports the electro radio is powered on, ready to receive signals from the lander. Okay. MRO is ready and listening and able and waiting for the to hear from our rover. Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter has reported that it's ready to receive the signal from Perseverance. It should be in a few minutes here. We're just Flight level one. from entry interface. We don't need these one to zeros, as Swati said, uh, but to land safely, but we, we really need it for our own uh, health and well-being today to keep our nerves in control. But Around this time, a second spacecraft, MAVEN, should begin picking up telemetry from Perseverance and will continue to record that telemetry until several minutes post-landing. We won't get that data for several hours after landing as it's being recorded and then will be forwarded to Earth later. We are continuing to receive heartbeat tones indicating that everything is nominal. We're currently at about three minutes until entry interface. Okay. Very soon we'll be getting ones and zeros, I hope, from our radio on the rover. The entry interface is nothing more than just an arbitrary place in the sky that we've defined to be above the atmosphere. But, th but from that point on, uh, there's definitely uh, atmosphere, and above it, there isn't. We are two minutes from entry interface. Perseverance to transmit heartbeat tones, indicating everything is nominal. So the tones can tell us whether something is bad or not is happening. So so far, the heartbeat is just doing well. So the vehicle thinks it's happening. It's uh, in good shape to land, which is a great sign. Uh, We're just under two minutes from entry interface. As it gets closer to Mars, Perseverance is actually being pulled in by gravity and accelerating. By the time Perseverance reaches entry interface point, she should be going just under 5.4 kilometers per second. We're at about 90 seconds from entry interface and standing by for Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter to pick up the telemetry. Mode. We have confirmation that the Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter is now relaying data from Perseverance. We're about 30 seconds from entry interface. Perseverance is going about 5.2 kilometers per second and is about 190 kilometers altitude above the surface of Mars. Confirm your data flow. from entry interface, 5.3 
8 kilometers per second and an altitude of uh, about 150 kilometers from the surface of Mars.
10 kilom nine and a half kilometers above the surface.
heard the news that Perseverance is alive on the surface of Mars. Congratulations to the mission. And looks like we have some more news in. It looks like we're getting the first image. Here, take a look at the first image. So you can see the wheels there, uh, and and, and, it, and they're a little dirty because we've got uh, glass covers over these these cameras. But uh, we took these seconds after landing, so so they're still dust in the air from our landing event. Uh, so this is this is happening. Uh, uh, you know, this happened just seconds ago, just arrived, and uh, this is really amazing. And uh, we even know where we landed. And this is the most amazing thing. The vehicle has told us where, where it's landed because it figured it out. You know, this is a sign. NASA works. NASA works. And when we put our arms together and our hands together and our brains together, we can succeed. This is what NASA does. This is what we can do as a country on all of the problems we, we have. We need to work together to do these kinds of things and make success happen. Joining us now is the acting administrator of NASA, Steve Jurisic. Steve, welcome and congratulations. 